What is up guys? Here we go again. Check this out. Another crazy freaktography abandoned adventure. Today guys, we are in an old abandoned house with a Corvette Stingray that's been sitting here for decades, rotting away in the garage of this abandoned house. It's crazy guys. Look at this behind me. Have you ever seen a Corvette Stingray just sitting in an abandoned house? Well, now you have. So guys, let's get right to it. Cue the music, cue the intro. See you guys on the other side. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm mad, doing no cap Only God wants you, better go live it up Cash in the bag, stadium pack Baby, I'm bad, yeah. baby, I'm bad This video is sponsored by the Thru-Night TH-02 Tactical Headlamp Stay tuned at the end of this video for a bonus video in an abandoned house lit exclusively by the Thru-Night TH-02 headlamp. Okay guys, so you got a sneak peek of the Corvette at the beginning of the video there, but we're not gonna get away with it that easy. You guys can have the Corvette at the end of the video. For now, we're gonna do a bit of a tour. It's a very small house, so don't worry. It'll be a short video, bear with me. Check out some of these rooms, and then we're gonna wrap the video up and check out that crazy Corvette Stingray sitting in the garage, rotting away. So, here we go. It doesn't really look much like a house. It's more like it was somebody's storage space. Because this here, well, this would have been the kitchen, but it's more like a workshop than an actual house or kitchen, so. Pretty interesting wall though. Huh, that's pretty neat, don't you think? It's so cold today, guys, another freezing cold day. I can't wait for the weather to clear up, warm up, so I don't have to freeze my ass off when I'm exploring these places and trying to get video content for you guys to enjoy. Oh, that's a pretty nice green curtain there, eh? There's some old beer bottles there. All right. So again, it's a it's a super small place. There's a there's a peek at the Corvette there, but we're gonna head upstairs, and we're gonna try and dodge raccoon poop on our way up because it is everywhere. Raccoons love to poop on the stairs. And they love to poop in the corner, right there. That is all disgusting raccoon poop, guys. Oh, I'm stepping in it, too. Now, I'm not gonna walk too much around in here because the floor doesn't seem very stable. So, there's a quick what is up, guys, without me in the mirror, because I don't wanna walk on the floor here. It doesn't seem very safe, okay? All right. So there's our stairs. Got some plaster coming off the wall here. The floor is very warped. Head on in here. It was once a bedroom, clearly. Some wallpaper dripping off the walls. Head up the ceiling here, and you got the paint and plaster dripping off the ceiling and peeling. Same in here, so we got this, go through this to this room here. Got all these hangers in this closet here. This room here, pretty good, pretty good light in this room for taking pictures. I really like that door there. And here you've got all the plaster just coming off of the walls. This kind of stuff is great for taking pictures. When you got that natural light coming through the window. This side here too, when you got holes in the ceiling, roof missing, makes for some great photo taking opportunities, guys. You can hit the link in the video description and check out my small photo gallery of the, the pictures that I took here. Link is in the video description. And 
that's about it up here. There is, you know, being here in the winter time, it's a little bit better because the uh, floor is a bit more stable with the uh, what's being frozen. But if you're here in the winter, uh, sorry, if you're here in the spring, summer, or fall, you're a little bit more at risk of falling through a floor. That's nice right there, eh? Look at that. So I just love these kinds of rooms with the uh, plaster that's coming down and holes in the ceiling, holes in the roof. Make our way down, down now and uh, we'll go back to the back room there and we'll check out the Corvette because that's really it for this house, guys. So it's a small house. And we got a Dodge Raccoon poop again. Okay, here we go, guys. Check it out. All my friends and uh, uh, subscribers and followers who love cars, you guys are gonna love this one, no doubt. This has obviously just been here for years. So that's pretty much it guys. It's just a short video because it's a very small house and really the only thing to see here is this here, this old Corvette Stingray just sitting here in the garage. So hope you guys have liked it. I will drop a photo gallery in the video description so you guys can check out the pictures that I took and uh, check this one out. I don't know the history of the house. I don't know anything. I just know that I was, I was here, checked out the house. I liked it. Corvette, I knew you guys would like it. So you guys know what to do. Hit that like button. Drop me a comment down below. If you wanna share the video, please do. And last but not least, if you're here for the first time and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to my channel, follow all my videos, go back and watch my old stuff, catch up on the new stuff, and stay tuned for what's to come. That's it, guys. Freezing cold, I got more places to go. See you next time. Peace. What is up guys? Welcome to another Freaktography Abandoned House Adventure. Guys, this one's gonna be different. This one's gonna be special. It's a nighttime explorer. Now, I don't like exploring at night because I can't take good pictures and I find that the video footage just doesn't look right when you're only exploring at night without natural light. That was a lot of rhyming. Guys, the reason why we're here is because my friends at Through Night hooked us up with a headlamp 
It's the THO2 tactical headlamp. So we're gonna give this flashlight, flashlight a run and see how it works. So keeping in mind, headlamps are not usually used for YouTubers to light their videos, but I wanna see how it performs as a flashlight on my head at night. So we're gonna do a quick explore, walk through this house, and I'm only gonna use this light to light up the entire video. We're gonna check out this abandoned house using only the Thrunite TH-02. Okay guys, so as you can see, I've got the Thrunite TH-02 on my head. So I'm gonna turn off this light, we're gonna turn on this one, and we're gonna get going. All right, that's on. Now, because I have the light on my head, and I'm using my little camera in my hand, you're probably gonna see this funny shadow every once in a while of my camera. All right, so I'm gonna try and keep it out of the way. Hmm, let's see here. Okay, so as you guys can see, it's doing a really good job of illuminating this room. Now I'm gonna turn it off, show you guys, look, it's pitch black in here, right? Put it on again there, there we go. So as you can see guys, this flashlight does a really good job of lighting up the room. It's actually not even bad for shooting this video because it doesn't really have much of a hot spot. So, so far so good guys. Got a couch here. Okay. I've never been in this house so I don't really know what to expect or what's here. I gotta try and fix this so that you guys don't see the shadow of my camera, because that's kind of annoying, right? So if I keep it off to the side, that might work. So let's walk around a little bit. Got a big broken window there. Look at all the wallpaper coming off of the wall. And the ceilings coming down. Holy cow. What a mess. What have we got in here, guys? Laundry room? Laundry room slash bathroom. All right. Pretty big. Got your shower here. I never liked these wooden toilet seats. I was worried that I would get a sliver. All right. Don't know what's going on here. Maybe she had an animal. And this is where the animal lived. Yeah, so, God, so far so good with this light, guys. It's really doing a good job at lighting this place up for me. Oh, we got a doggy door here. Right there, eh? See that little doggy door? Looks like a doggy door anyways. What do you guys think of this light so far? Is it okay? It's not bad. For lighting up a video, it's doing a pretty good job. I'm pretty happy with it. Look at this hallway. It's just full of boxes. And you know how I feel about basements, guys. Especially when I'm alone. If I'm here with somebody else, I don't think I'd have a problem going in the basement. I just think it's too much of a risk, guys, to risk hurting myself or something going wrong in the basement just for a dumb YouTube video. Anyways, carrying on here, we're going to head upstairs, guys. There is an upstairs. Got a lot of glass on here. we 
got here, guys? We got a room with a bed frame, a, a day bed. So much peeling paint. This house is a dump. Wow. We got here. Another room just full of stuff. It's cold, guys. Freezing. So as I'm using this light, guys, this Thru-Night TH-O2 headlamp, just want you guys to know that there's a link in the video description to get yourself your own Thru-Night TH-O2 headlamp or other Thru-Night lights if you wish. They were nice enough to send this to me to try out in hopes that you guys will like it enough to buy it. And uh, so yeah, I will say not to be used for filming of a YouTube video. But if you need a headlamp for anything, it's really bright, but it is a good, durable, reliable flashlight. It's bright. It's got different modes. I'm liking it. These are good for mechanics. They're good for explorers if you don't need to worry about filming videos. We got here, guys. We got a sewing machine here. A couple sewing machines in this room. There's one there. A couple more over there. It is so cold in here, guys. Holy cow. all these little trinkets here. Huh. Got some graffiti on the wall. Kids. Okay, guys, that wraps it up. I gotta go. I'm too cold to do this today. So, here's a quick look at how the through night flashlight lights up the outside of the house. From the outside. Thanks to my friends at Thru-Night. You guys know what to do. Links in the video description down below to pick yourself up a Thru-Night TH-02 flashlight. Do all the things, like the video, drop me a comment down below. I gotta go guys, I'm too cold, peace.